in this video, we're going to learn how to use the clip surface tool. It's a nice straightforward one. I'm going to quickly show you what the end result is and then we'll pull it apart after that. So I can take two objects, select them both and come up to modify and down to clip surface. And what you'll notice happens is it cuts out the object that's underneath. It uses whatever is overlapping of the object that's sitting on top. So I'll do that one more time here. Modify, clip surface, there we go. So the important thing to remember with this is the stacking order, where an object is in comparison to the other. So you can see that this object is sitting over the top of the white object, which is underneath. And so it will cut out a part of the white object. However, if I was to select this white object, right click and send it to the front and place it overlapping the purple object, I could now select them both and modify and clip surface and it will have cut out the perimeter of, that was overlapping from the purple which was underneath. If you're working in a project that has multiple layers and you have objects that are across two different layers, it'll still work. The problem that you'll have is that you cannot send an object to the front sometimes. So I'm going to right click on this white object and go send to front and you'll notice it's still staying behind this purple object and it's because of the stacking order over in my navigation panel. To change this, I could temporarily drag layer one below layer two to reverse this. And now I would be able to clip the surfaces how I wanted. I could then reorder the two layers after that.